Let's have some fun on Canva and make an animation, make it look like a phone is ringing. This can be a fun animation that you could put on a page about contact us, things like that on your website, or some sort of social media post about how to get in touch with you. Sometimes fun little quirky things like this can be really memorable. So I'm gonna show you how you can do it super easy in Canva. So let's dive into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is choose a phone. So you want to find a picture of a nice old vintage phone, something that you like the look of, and now we're gonna cut it up. So we want to duplicate the page. So three dots, duplicate page, so we can cut out the two different sections. We're going to click on it and background remover. So this does require Pro to do this. And then we're going to click on it again. And now we can go to Erase, and we're just going to get rid of going to get rid of the cord because the cord actually makes the animation a little bit harder so we're going to make a phone that doesn't have a cord so first of all we don't want the cord at all now we're going to split up the pieces so we're going to get rid of the actual little headset here and just leave the bottom of the phone and then we're going to do the reverse on the other piece so that we've got our two separate pieces that we can animate separately so you want to go around carefully. You can reduce the brush size for areas where you need to be more careful. And if you make a mistake, you can click restore to put something back if you need to fix it. So once you're done, just click the X. And now we're going to do the reverse on this second page where we just keep the headset. But again, we do want to get rid of the cord because the cord does mess up the animation. It's very hard with Canva to get that to sit in the perfect position. So we're just going to remove it. We don't want a cord for this phone. So again, click on it, background remover, click again, erase. And this time we're going to get rid of all this so we can use the big brush to start to just get rid of a whole heap. And then we can go in finer later. Now, when you get to this top bit here, you do want to leave that top bit of the headset there because we don't want to cut away and completely remove the headset thing or those little prongs. We want to leave them so it doesn't look like part of it's missing. And I'll show you how to tidy that up in a second. So we'll just get rid of that. Now what you're going to do is go to Edit, Magic Arrays. And if you go over those little prongs and Arrays, as you can see, it actually cleans it up. So by doing that, we don't make it look like it's so obviously cut out and terrible. We could sort of do a bit of a cleanup using that Magic Arrays tool. All right, so now we have our pieces. So now we can grab our headset here. And, we go, and we're gonna take it back to this page here. We want to layer, send to back, so it's sitting behind those prongs do. So now it looks good. Now we can animate it. So the first thing you're going to do is go to create an animation and we're just going to lift it up. So we're gonna make it come up now you may want it to come up quickly. You can play around with the speed so it looks good. Then you want to wiggle. Now also you may want to make that smooth so it doesn't look too bad. Then we're going to add a bit of wiggle to it so it's like the phone is ringing, it's wiggling around. And now we can play with the actual thing here. Now this one we might want to go to animate and just a tiny bit of wiggle. So it's sort of like it's ringing, ring, ring, ring. But you don't want that too much. So we can go wiggle and we want to turn the intensity down. So it's just got a slight wiggle to it, not too much. It is going to work best if you have a front on phone, something like this where it's side on is going to be a bit tricky for trying to cut it out and make it look good. Something like front on is going to be a lot easier. But also play around with the animation because depending on the style and look and how you want it to look, you know, how much of a movement you want going on, all that, you want to play around to get it the way you want it to look. So we're going to get rid of this second page because we don't need that anymore. Play it through again. Yep, I'm happy with that now. So now we're going to go into apps and we're going to choose Lottie. Lottie files. While that's loading, I'm just going to add a background here and we're going to put in the search sound wave. And here we've got one here, so you may just need to search a bit to find the right one. So we've got here the curved one and we can add this to the design. 
Now, what's great about the Lottie ones is you can change the color. So you can actually make them work for how you want this to look for you. So once it's finished adding in, so at first it looks like it's on white. Don't worry. It just needs to load into your page. So now I can choose, to, maybe I want this white to suit my design. And maybe want it on both sides. All right, so we can play again. So now we've got those sound waves, so that really adds to it. And so you can add something underneath saying call now and put your number, whatever you want to use this for. It's a great way to add some fun animation to something where you've got contact details. So now finally, let's look at adding sound. So sound will really depend on what you're using this for. If you've got it on your website, you may not want sound, but if you're using this somewhere else where you do want sound, that can be another fun addition. So we're going to go to elements and then you go to audio, see all. And then we can put in phone ring. And this is where you're going to look for one that is the style you want. So obviously you may want a particular phone ringing sound. So you're going to go through and find one that suits you and what you're trying to create. So once you find, so once you've found one that you are happy with, you drag and drop it here. So you see that it turns purple and now it's added it to your actual page. If you don't make sure that it adds purple, it may not actually land on your page. So make sure that you do that. So now we can play it through. And there we go. We have an animated phone with sound. So the last thing you'd want to consider is how long you want it to go for. So you can see up here, I've got 5.6 seconds. Obviously, if you want to change that, that's when you can fiddle around with timing and all those sort of things. Then you want to download it as the right file type. So you can do this as a GIF, as a video, depending on what your final product is, what you're trying to create. So have fun with it. Have fun with this little animation. Maybe think about how other ways you could create animations like this, where you can split a graphic into pieces and animate each piece to do something. So I hope this inspired you and got you thinking about other things you might be able to create. Or if you want to give this a go with a phone, give it a go and have some fun. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And of course, if you'd like to see more Canva tutorials, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.